Hi, in this video, I'm going to be answering a question that I received from a viewer. I have not read this question prior to the making of this video, so my answer may not be perfect. If you have any advice for this person, as always, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Okay, let's open the message. The person's name is Chris, and I'll omit any personal info that I see. And the subject is future in regards to a math degree. Hi. I've been watching your videos for a while and have gained a lot from them in terms of valuable knowledge. But one video in, particularly, in particular really impressed me, and that was the story of how you got into mathematics. I'm at a crossroads of sorts in my life. A lot has happened circumstantially, which requires me to have a shift of thought career-wise. I've always loved science and had fondness for math, especially as I got older. First question is, would it be too late to go back to school and study math at university going on at age 40? And two, what books would you recommend to study as far as in-depth self-study from the basic to pre-algebra math to more higher level of math in pure mathematics books? Thank you kindly. So first, let me say thank you very much, Chris. And I definitely remember that video uh, about how I got into mathematics. I remember when I made it, I was actually uh, in a hammock uh, and I was just filming the sky as I swung in the hammock and made the video. I remember not wanting to make that video and it was just a really awkward video for me to make because you just it's personal, you know, so it's not things that you usually I usually talk about. So thank you for that. Um, I understand. So you're going on the age of 40 and you're trying to decide, you know, is it too late? It's never too late. It, it really isn't. And it should not be a barrier. If, you, if you're thinking to yourself, is it too late? Don't, right? Because it's not. The real challenge is how can you make it happen? How can you take your life where it is now and change it to a life where you're going back to school? Well, you just do it. You go back to school. But it's easier for me to say that than it is for you to do that because that comes with sacrifices, right? You probably have a job. Maybe you're married. Maybe you have kids. You definitely have responsibilities at age 40. So can you make the time to go back to school? I think the answer is yes. The real question is, are you willing to make the sacrifices? So I think you can do it. Um, so yes, you definitely can go back to school. As far as books, instead of listing like a long list of books here, um, I did make a video. It's called Learn Mathematics from Start to Finish. And that covers a lot of really good books. Um, so I would recommend picking up some of those books. If you can't find those particular books, you can get other books um, I mean, there's all kinds of great math books, but that video should serve as a starting point. So I think it's really cool. You're thinking about going back to school um, at age 40. There's people who go back to school at all ages. Um, I've had students in their 60s, uh, in their 70s. Um, I've known people who've gotten their PhDs in their 60s and 70s. It's never too late. As long as you're alive and you're, you know, you're capable and you can do it, you know, you can function and stuff. You can do it, right? There's nothing that says that you can't go back. It's never too old. So, I mean, most students aren't 40, but, you know, I feel like over the years, you start to get more of a mix, you know. You, you do see older people going back more and more and more. And it doesn't really matter what other people do, right? Because you can do it. You can go back to school whenever you want and you can be successful. I hope this video has been helpful. If anyone else has any advice for Chris on anything, you know, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck.